Once upon a time, there lived a young boy in a village named Sam. Sam was an earnest and hard-working lad, but his nights were plagued by troubled dreams that left him sleepless and weary. These recurring nightmares cast a dark shadow over his days, making it difficult for him to find peace and contentment in his life. The nightmares often took the form of relentless storms, with thunderous clouds swirling ominously overhead, and Sam standing alone, trembling in fear. He yearned for a way to escape these tormenting dreams that seemed to bind him in a never-ending cycle of anxiety and uncertainty. One sunny morning, as he wandered through the village, his weary eyes caught sight of a humble monastery nestled on the outskirts. It was a place of tranquil beauty, surrounded by vibrant flowers and ancient trees that whispered wisdom in the gentle breeze. And it was here that Sam's journey toward peace would begin. Master Kavi, the venerable Buddhist monk who resided in the monastery, was renowned throughout the village for his wisdom, serenity, and compassionate nature. His presence alone seemed to bring solace to troubled souls, and his teachings had touched the lives of many. Driven by a growing desperation to find relief from his troubled dreams, Sam decided to seek out Master Kavi. With hope flickering in his heart, he approached the monastery and was welcomed by the warm smiles of the monks. Sam was led to a serene garden where Master Kavi sat in meditation, a picture of serene composure. With a humble bow, Sam introduced himself and shared the torment he endured each night. Master Kavi listened attentively, his kind eyes never leaving Sam's face. When Sam's story was told, Master Kavi, with a gentle nod, made a promise that would change the course of Sam's life forever. I shall help you find the peace you seek, Master Kavi said, but you must be willing to follow the path I lay before you. It is a journey that requires patience, commitment, and an open heart. Filled with gratitude and hope, Sam eagerly accepted Master Kavi's invitation to stay at the monastery and learn the ways of inner peace and tranquility. Sam's journey to the monastery was a mystical one. He traversed winding paths through emerald forests, crossed babbling brooks on moss-covered stones, and inhaled the pure, earthy scent of the woods. As he approached the monastery, its rustic beauty left him in awe. The monastery's red roof buildings stood in harmony with nature, blending seamlessly into the landscape. Cherry blossoms adorned the gardens, their petals falling gently like soft whispers. It was a place untouched by the chaos of the outside world, a sanctuary where time seemed to slow down and the heart could find respite. Sam settled into a simple room, furnished with only the essentials, a woven mat for sleeping, a small wooden desk for contemplation, and a small window that framed a view of the garden. On his first night, Sam observed the evening rituals of the monks, chants that resonated with the rhythms of nature, and a sense of serenity that enveloped him like a warm embrace. As he lay down to sleep, Sam felt a glimmer of hope that perhaps he had finally found the answer to his troubled dreams. The following morning, Sam awoke to the melodious symphony of birdsong. The first rays of dawn filtered through his window, casting a golden hue on the room. It was a morning unlike any he had experienced before, a morning filled with serenity and a profound sense of gratitude. Sam joined the monks in the garden, where they knelt in silent reverence, their heads bowed in prayer. Master Kovey approached Sam, and with a warm smile, began the first of the seven nightly rituals, gratitude. Gratitude is the foundation of inner peace, Master Kavi explained. Each day, we are blessed with both joys and challenges. To find peace, we must acknowledge and appreciate these blessings, for they are the threads that weave the fabric of our lives. Sam listened intently as Master Kavi guided him in a simple practice of gratitude. Together, they walked through the garden pausing to appreciate the delicate beauty of each flower, the soothing sound of the babbling brook, and the gentle rustle of leaves in the breeze. Sam felt a profound shift within him as he realized how often he had taken these simple wonders of life for granted. With each step, Sam's heart filled with gratitude, and as the sun dipped below the horizon, he retired to his room 
with a newfound sense of peace and contentment. As days turned into weeks, Sam settled into the daily routine of the monastery. The mornings were filled with meditation and mindfulness practices that allowed him to center his thoughts and find stillness within. The afternoons were dedicated to tending the monastery's gardens and assisting in various chores alongside the monks. One tranquil evening, under the soft glow of lantern light, Master Kavi introduced Sam to the second nightly ritual, forgiveness. Forgiveness, Master Kavi began, is a healing balm for the soul. Holding onto grudges and resentments only adds to our burden and keeps us from finding inner peace. To forgive is to free oneself from the chains of bitterness. Sam listened as Master Kavi shared stories of individuals who had found profound liberation through forgiveness, even in the face of great adversity. He spoke of the power of letting go, like releasing a heavy stone that had burdened the heart for too long. Under the guidance of Master Kavi, Sam embarked on a journey of forgiveness. He reflected on the grievances he had held onto and the pain they had caused him. With each act of forgiveness, a weight lifted from his heart, and a sense of lightness replaced the darkness that had consumed him. Sam realized that forgiveness was not just a gift to others, but a gift to himself, a path toward the peace he so desperately sought. As Sam delved deeper into the practices of the monastery, his meditation and mindfulness sessions became more profound. He learned to quiet the incessant chatter of his mind and embrace the stillness that lay within. One cool morning, as the mist hung low over the monastery gardens, Master Kavi instructed Sam on the third nightly ritual, mindfulness. Mindfulness, Master Kavi explained, is the art of being fully present in the moment. It is the antidote to anxiety and fear, for it reminds us that the past is but a memory and the future is yet to come. True peace can only be found in the here and now. Under the shade of an ancient oak tree, Sam sat with Master Kavi, their breaths synchronized and their thoughts stilled. They observed the world around them, the delicate dance of butterflies among the flowers, the gentle rustle of leaves and the distant song of a bird. In that moment, Sam felt a profound sense of connection to all of existence. The days turned into weeks, and Sam's mindfulness practice continued to deepen. He learned to carry this awareness into every aspect of his life, from the way he ate his meals to the way he interacted with his fellow monks. The anxieties and fears that had once plagued his nights began to lose their grip, and a sense of peace settled within him like a tranquil pond. As Sam's journey at the monastery progressed, he became increasingly aware of the suffering that existed not only within himself, but also in the world around him. He saw the pain etched in the weathered faces of villagers, struggling to make ends meet, and the sorrow in the eyes of animals seeking shelter and sustenance. One afternoon, while tending to the monastery's vegetable garden, Sam noticed a wounded bird perched on a nearby branch. Its wing drooped with an injury, rendering it unable to fly. Without hesitation, Sam gently approached the bird, cradling it in his hands, and carried it to the monastery. Master Kavi, observing this act of compassion, smiled knowingly. Later that evening, as the sun dipped below the horizon, he began the fourth mighty ritual, compassion. Compassion, Master Kavi shared, is the understanding that all beings suffer and seek happiness. It is the recognition of our interconnectedness with all of life. To be truly at peace, one must extend kindness and help to those in need. Sam listened intently, his heart swelling with the desire to alleviate the suffering of others. Under Master Kavi's guidance, he began volunteering at the nearby village, offering his help to those who needed it. He tended to the injured bird, nursing it back to health, and released it with a sense of fulfillment. As days turned into months, Sam's compassion grew, and he realized that it was not only a gift to others, but a source of profound joy and inner peace. The nightmares that had once tormented him seemed like distant echoes, fading into the background of his transformed heart. As Sam continued his journey at the monastery, a profound sense of contemplation began to envelop him. 
He spent hours sitting by the monastery pond, watching the ripples on the water's surface and reflecting on his life's journey. One evening, as he shared his thoughts with Master Kavi, the wise monk introduced him to the fifth mighty ritual, reflection. Reflection, Master Kavi explained, is the mirror through which we see our true selves. It is a process of reviewing our actions and decisions, acknowledging our strengths and weaknesses, and striving for growth and improvement. Sam embraced this practice with fervor. Each night, he sat in his room, a single candle casting a soft glow, and reviewed his day. He examined his interactions, his choices, and his intentions. He acknowledged moments of kindness and areas where he could have acted with more compassion or patience. In the stillness of these nightly reflections, Sam discovered a profound sense of self-awareness. He realized that true peace could only be found by embracing one's authentic self, warts and all. The troubled dreams that had once haunted him now seemed like distant memories, overshadowed by the light of self-discovery. As the seasons changed and Sam's time at the monastery stretched into months, he felt a deep transformation within himself. The turmoil that had once gripped his heart had faded, replaced by a sense of contentment that seemed to emanate from his very being. One evening, as the sun bathed the monastery in a warm golden glow, Master Kavi introduced Sam to the sixth mighty ritual, contentment. Contentment, Master Kavi shared, is the art of finding happiness in simplicity. It is the understanding that true wealth lies not in material possessions, but in a heart at peace with what it has. To be content is to be truly rich. Sam nodded, for he had witnessed the monk's simple way of life, finding joy in the daily rituals, the beauty of nature, and the company of kindred spirits. Under Master Kavi's guidance, he began to let go of his attachment to material desires and embraced a life of simplicity. Each night, as he lay on his woven mat, Sam felt a profound sense of contentment wash over him. The troubled dreams that had once tormented him seemed like distant echoes, unable to penetrate the peace that now resided within him. With each passing day, Sam's transformation deepened, and he yearned to learn the final mighty ritual that Master Kavi had promised. He had spent months at the monastery, absorbing the teachings of gratitude, forgiveness, mindfulness, compassion, reflection, and contentment. Now, he eagerly awaited the revelation of the seventh and last ritual. One clear night, under a blanket of stars that stretched endlessly above, Master Kavi invited Sam to a quiet corner of the garden. With a soft smile, he began the final teaching, silence. Silence, Master Kavi whispered, is the ultimate refuge for the soul. It is the stillness within, where the mind ceases its ceaseless chatter, and one finds the depths of inner peace. In silence, we hear the whispers of our own wisdom. Sam listened intently as Master Kavi guided him in a practice of silence. They sat beneath the vast expanse of the night sky, the only sounds the gentle rustle of leaves and the distant song of a nightingale. Sam closed his eyes, and as he descended into the depths of inner silence, he felt a profound sense of unity with all of existence. The troubled dreams that had haunted him for so long now seemed like distant memories. Unable to pierce the fortress of stillness he had discovered within himself. Months turned into a year, and Sam's time at the monastery drew to a close. He had undergone a profound transformation, from a troubled boy plagued by nightmares to a young man filled with inner peace and wisdom. The troubled dreams that had once held him captive were now, but a distant memory, fading into the background of his life. With a heart filled with gratitude, Sam stood before Master Kavi, ready to return to his village. He bowed deeply, his eyes glistening with tears of appreciation. You have given me the greatest gift, he said. You have shown me the path to peace and happiness. Master Kavi, with a serene smile, replied, Remember, Sam, that the journey does not end here. It continues within you. Carry the teachings in your heart and let them guide you in all that you do. Sam returned to his village, a place that had once been filled with turmoil 
and uncertainty. As he walked through the familiar streets, his family and friends noticed a profound change in him. His once anxious demeanor had been replaced by a sense of calm assurance, and his eyes sparkled with newfound wisdom. Eager to share the priceless teachings he had received, Sam gathered his loved ones under the shade of an ancient banyan tree. With humility and grace, he recounted the seven nightly rituals he had learned from Master Kavi. The practices of gratitude, forgiveness, mindfulness, compassion, reflection, contentment, and silence. His family and friends listened intently, captivated by the wisdom that flowed from Sam's words. They too yearned for the inner peace and happiness he had found, and they embraced the teachings with open hearts. As the days turned into weeks and the weeks into months, Sam and his loved ones committed themselves to practicing the seven nightly rituals. They found that consistency was the key, for it was through daily dedication that the teachings truly took root in their hearts. The troubled dreams that had once haunted Sam were now a distant memory, a testament to the power of these simple yet profound practices. Sam's village transformed into a place of harmony and serenity, where compassion flowed freely and hearts were filled with gratitude for the simple wonders of life. In the end, Sam's journey had not only transformed his own life, but also the lives of those around him. The village, once burdened by anxiety and discontent, had blossomed into a community of peace and contentment. The message was clear. Consistency in practicing gratitude, forgiveness, mindfulness, compassion, reflection, contentment, and silence could bring lasting inner peace and happiness. Sam's journey, inspired by the wisdom of Master Kavi and the timeless teachings of Buddhism, had illuminated the path for all who sought the light of inner peace in their lives. And so, the story of Sam's transformation became a legend in the village, a testament to the enduring power of the human spirit to overcome adversity and find solace in the embrace of timeless wisdom.